Hello everyone and welcome to another reading here at Mad World Tarot. A royal reading of course, this is where the royal readings happen and new channels just started for world events kinds of readings and thank you so much to those of you who have supported the channel so generously. I made a bit of a boo-boo with the first video I uploaded. They um, took it down because it was too long so I had to cut it into two parts which was quite a challenge for me with almost no editing skills, technical skills and uh, so that was a, a bit of a learning curve and uh, a lesson learned hopefully and I will carry on over there with that kind of stuff but we're here now today with royals and I have the Tower of the Golden Wheel on the tarot table for the readings today because we're looking at money. Money matters. There have been stories circulating about the Parkles and how well they're doing financially. We're hearing that Harry's made gazillions out of spare. I'll be looking at that in the next reading. We're also hearing that Meghan is getting huge royalty checks for her appearance in suits. Uh, someone calculated that I think she was on screen for about 200 minutes. Not exactly a leading role, but we're hearing so much money all being stashed away because of course it's been on Netflix and BBC's bought it and all the rest. But then along comes Celebrity Days and Nights and tells us, and I'm quoting, it's a gossip site of course, so this is just gossip, tells us that the illiterate one, in other words, Meghan Markle, has already lost a huge percentage of her company trading ownership for money. In other words, she's selling shares in her company to investors. The company that so far has no product, hasn't made any sales, uh, but seemingly she's raising cash out of this thing. A lot of people speculated she really did just start the company thinking she'd get millions of followers on Instagram and the company could be offloaded onto someone who would actually know what to do with it for a hugely inflated price. Well, that hasn't happened. I'm now going to do a little five card reading with the Tarot of the Golden Wheel and see what is going on. See, I want to know about her financial situation. I want to know how valuable the company is. The company with no stock, no um, purchases, no really public profile, no advertising campaign apart from that soft launch with a bit of jam and some dog biscuits. Um, and I want to know if there really are takers, if there are investors, if she's really offloaded giant chunks of um, stock in the company, shares in the company, and how's it going to do? American Riviera Orchard, I had to um, search quite deep in my mind to dredge up that name, American <laughs> Riviera Orchard, because we haven't heard much about it. We're all waiting eagerly for the cooking show on Netflix, and we're also waiting eagerly for that rosé wine, and um, um, maybe some dog biscuits. I don't know. But anyway, let's see what's going on and let's remind you that this is just tarot for fun and entertainment. It is all, my opinion, all speculation. I just read energy. Yeah, there we go. Flying cards. Always good to see. For me anyway. And of course there is a disclaimer in the box below. Please read it. Please form your own opinion about the state of American Riviera Orchard. And... Uh, interesting that this was um, on Celebrity Days and Nights. A lot of people speculate that uh, the source of these rumours might be very close to home and uh, we might be reading these rumours uh, to give the idea that the company is actually worth something and people are investing in it. We have the Queen of Cups in reverse. That for me is a popularity card, um, obviously it's Princess Diana, but I don't think she's got anything to do with jam and dog biscuits and um, all that stuff. It's trying to be popular. It's a sentimental card. Um, relatable energy, of course, always, and it's in reverse. So those huge um, viewing figures that she was hoping for, the uptick you know on Instagram it was going to go mad um, she was going to be I think this was Jennifer Aniston who had that huge 
um, following almost instantaneously when she um, went live on Instagram. I think the hope was that the same thing would happen with our Queen of Cups in reverse, but it didn't. And that would be quite devastating. So the Queen of Cups is quite upset, um, quite emotional about this, quite upset about it that she hasn't had the following that she thought she was going to get. And um, uh, maybe on the floor in tears even, uh, we could imagine with that Queen of Cups in reverse. So a uh, situation, the finances, of course, we're talking about ooh, Six of Cups in reverse. That's also so sad. Um, the Six of Cups upright, it's about harmony, it's about happy memories, innocence and childhood and play and um, coming together in a, in, a, in a happy way, in reverse, not feeling the love, um, also falling out with people. The Six of Cups, when it's upright, it's reconciling, it's remembering the good old days and how lovely everything was going to be, but uh, or everything was. But in reverse, I think that some friends have let her down. She feels, our Queen of Cups in reverse, she feels that friends have let her down. She, of course, was going to ride on this whole family, friends, getting together, celebrating vibe. Um, really not her vibe. If she could make uh, money out of... Um, family feuds, you know, it's kind of daytime TV, uh, the stuff of daytime TV. Perhaps she spent a lot of time when she was young watching daytime TV when they have these feuds and terrible things happen and then the next minute it's all forgotten and someone else is playing the role of so-and-so and you have to pretend that they look entirely differently and you don't notice. It's that kind of vibe that's coming from that Six of Cups. Interesting. Let's see her financial situation just generally oh dear it's the hermit in reverse i keep getting this same energy harry making his escape the hermit of course normally is you're on your own and you are figuring your life out and um coming to some sort of um realization uh it's in reverse so misguided first of all that would be the one uh, layer of energy in that card. Very misguided. Um, following bad advice, you could also say, uh, with the Hermit in reverse, you could say feeling very alone as well. Um, struggling with being alone when the Hermit is in reverse. Upright, it's healthy loneliness, health, healthy seclusion, separation from the crowd. It's, it's very healthy energy but in reverse not so much so i think struggling with the notion that she is all on her own she's not a woman who is comfortable on her own we've seen that she always seems to have someone else lined up before she ditches the current uh, model of husband or boyfriend or whatever but the big thing for me with that hermit in reverse is that's the harry card the major arcana we're hoping towards the 40th birthday i think it is in two months time it's the 15th of july today that huge big um, astrological conjunction a, a rather ominous one going on today uh, but the hermit is in reverse the hermit is making his getaway we keep seeing this energy as i said earlier uh we're seeing it quite literally we saw it at the espy awards when he didn't invite her onto the stage and he looked quite grumpy when she was clawing at him in photos with serena williams hermit disappearing from sight and the hermit of course is the one with all the money the one with all the contacts the one people still have a little bit of time for i don't think much time anymore but a little bit of time interesting how valuable is american riviera orchard right now the company how's it doing well page of wheels that's not terrible it's beginner energy um beginner starting out with a page of wheels it's a it's a money card so it tells me that there is some optimism around this and we we do hear rumors that netflix is supportive of the idea that they're even on sides to do some merching of their own and to, to take charge of this company and um all the all the products the spin-off products from the cooking ch uh, show that she's um recorded for them allegedly 
Page of Wheels is about contracts, it's about negotiations, it's also a student, so it's learning energy, so learning the ropes, a bit like I'm learning the ropes over on my new channel. Um, she's learning the ropes here with the Page of Wheels. It might uh, be quite a steep learning curve for her, but there is the idea here that there is hope and there are uh, contracts around, there. there is interest in it. But this is baby stuff. This is uh, pocket money, the page of wheels. This is not huge investment. This is not ace of pentacles, ten of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Those would be good cards for it. This is in discussions because pages are about communication. So there are conversations about this. We saw her at that uh, venture capital um, meeting, public meeting in Montecito a while back, she was caught unawares, allegedly, by somebody who was also there, and uh, a sugar, it seemed, and it's that kind of energy, uh, scrounging around trying to raise funds with people. So are people falling for this? Are there big investors who have um, spent tons of money to buy shares in American Riviera Orchard? Has she sold lots of shares? What's going on? Oh dear, page of swords, but it's in reverse. And that is rumor. And uh, our reading is based entirely on a rumor from a well-known celebrity rumor site, Celebrity Days and Nights. And that card tells me that this is a rumor. Possibly a planted rumor. I'm speculating, of course, expressing my opinion here as a tarot reader, but it looks as if this is all rumor. Hmm. A lot of people thought that when this news came out or this blind item uh, appeared. A lot of people said, no, nah, not happening. It's a, it's a worthless company. It's who in their right minds? would invest in American Riviera Orchard. Hmm. So let's see how American Riviera Orchard is going to do current energy and uh, in this context even. And uh, it's got the world very successful. That's, that's insanely successful. Successful completion of something. So at the moment, it looks as if for all the naysayers, and I'm a naysayer, um, and for all the worry and the, the, the crying, on the sobbing on the floor because nobody loves her, nobody's um, following her on Instagram and she feels let down by friends and there might even have been fallouts um, and people aren't falling for this whole notion of friends and family because, you know, that's not her brand really, even though she's trying to make it so. For all the worry about Harry might be disappearing and bad advice, there are conversations around this thing. There are. And it's going to look successful. The world is for me, all eyes are on it. I do think we are going to get to see that cooking show. Can't wait myself. Absolutely. So looking forward to it. Um, I think all eyes are going to be there. And if Netflix rolls up its sleeves as they are rumored to be doing and churns out some, uh, I don't know, um, tablecloths or wooden spoons or something with American Riviera Orchard and a, that little coronet thing that she ha she's designed. Um, it might do. People might almost hate buy. It's novelty. You know, you might buy it because in 10 years time, it's, it, um, I won't say antiques roadshow <laughs> venue. I'm going to get the giggles. Um, but it might be worth something down the line for novelty value. So there might be some interest in it. Um, the world is successful completion of a project. Um, so I think she might limp through the cooking show, sell some wooden spoons and some dog bowls and some rosé and then offload the company onto someone else. And um, so that is quite encouraging for her. Uh, if by some wild chance uh, she's watching this. Um, but yeah, uh, it's not all doom and gloom for American Riviera Orchard. And uh, so we will have to watch that. Uh, let's move on now to Harry in the next one and see how he's really doing with Spare.